We are here from the Macdonald Academy of Arms, based in Edinburgh, to give you a wee demonstration, a wee insight into the sharp, shiny stuff. <laughs> we can look at a wee historical timeline in a way here with some of the weapons, and something that was carried on a day-to-day -day basis, certainly in the medieval period, and even before that, was a handy knife, your everyday knife. Now, we're not talking a wee Swiss Army knife here, we're talking about 10 inches or so of steel, because that sells a wee bit of a handier size to do a bit more with. There weren't as many rules and laws, certainly, in that time against this, so you'd carry a handy bit of uh, steel like this, and this everyday use, you'd use it for eating your own meat, likely, you'd use it for cutting rope, doing wee jobs and so on, and sticking your neighbour if he spilled your whiskey. But generally, though in the Highlands, I say that a wee bit in jest because we were a, a race of warrior poets, peaceful amongst ourselves as far as we could be. You didn't want to be sticking your neighbour for no good reason mm -hmm. because very quickly vendettas build and now his family is after you and your family and that's not what you would want to bring upon your own folk. And so amongst our own folk we tended to be as peaceful as we could but we are Scots, we're known for liking a wee drink and a wee fight here and there and usually one of those leads to the other and so things can escalate in a short time as well. So pub fights back then were interesting. It wasn't just broken chair legs and bottles you were facing. As soon as it kicked off, these were out. So one of the first methods of defence was probably useful to know was how to defend yourself against a knife attack. Arno for me. So Arno's a Dutch lad, yeah, they like a fight too. Arno's lost it anyway, we're in the pub and it's all kicked off. Suddenly, I've either can't, I'm not going to get to my knife in time, or I've left it at home or whatever, but it's suddenly unarmed against knife. So against the attack, unarmed against knife. <laughs> Tell the story of how you were a hero. You can't be too off balance, so ground yourself and you've got two hands and this is one hand so one hand against one it's then a matter of strength and i can just sum up by arnold's stature and size he's a wee bit bigger possibly a wee bit stronger than me so i'm not just going to use one hand but two and i'm also going to not be there at the same time so as arnold comes in i'm either going to step back or step to the side as i deal with that one hand with two get a wee bit of advantage that way since it's on we're then going to disarm, we've got to deal with this knife. So there's a number of ways we can strip that knife and ruin our nose even in the process. It's strong enough action, stripping out the hand, I can always give him his knife back. I'm going first. Both swords here replicate the same weight and the same balance as original pieces. So they move just as quickly and they feel just the same. And when they land on your body hard and fast enough, ah, you know all about it. Give the Academy salute. They salute each other and they go through the basic guard positions and a reminder of the form and then they're going to enter into free fencing. I can't tell you how it's going to go from there, folks. Just don't feel as though you have to get involved. Right? Especially if you're from Dundee. 